Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 5th, going to the 11th of June. So I'm going to dive straight in and see what's going on for you guys, okay? Okay. A little bit of conflict going on around you. I do see that this is going to be resolved. You are being told to maybe see something in a different perspective. Um, doesn't mean to forgive if that's something that you might be struggling with, but it does mean to try and see the other side to this because this could actually help mend or heal a certain situation. Whether that means someone can come back in that you may have separated from or fallen out from the Five of Swords, um, or whether it's just that you might be able to take a little bit of something from it, whether it be a lesson or just healing yourself after a conflict, okay? Um, hanged man, don't rush into anything. Don't make rushed actions, decision out of anger, out of emotions. Take some time to balance yourself out because sometimes we're in the heat of the moment. We don't want to hear this, but, you know, we just want to hear the worst, like the other person is this and then that, which really might be. Um, but the advice from spirit is don't react, okay? You might want to tell someone about themselves. You might want to throw everything up in the air and forget about it. Um, but they're kind of saying, don't do that. If you want to do that after a few days, then go ahead and do it. But if if you calm yourself down, see what your mind is saying then. All right, very important. Especially because Taurus says you guys are the bull, all right? When a bull is angry, it's charging. That's it. But try not to do that this time. It's going against your nature, I know. Uh, but it feels like we might make um, decisions that we might regret and stuff like that. We don't want to do that. So we have here and now and by the book. So the here and now is a card of being patient, all right? Being present, very important. Making sure that we're maybe doing things that keep you present, whatever that might be for you. For some of you, it might be um, painting, drawing. It might just be reading something. It's kind of about being in the present moment, not trying to escape it by thinking about the past or trying to understand the future is about really kind of sorting your day-to-day -day life out and um this person on the egg this little girl on the egg is pretty chill to be honest and in this present moment the doors start to open okay so you are unlocking things by being present this could be your own epiphanies and you know um getting to know yourself or just getting to know your life and i feel like sometimes when we're present in our day-to-day -day, we aren't really running on default and our routines that we've conditioned ourselves to do stepping up we might decide okay actually I, f I feel like it's actually helping you to understand your intuition a bit more so for those of you who are trying to connect to themselves and feel a little bit lost or not connected the Nessun energy that's coming through with that here and now is like be present take some time notice what's around you notice the smells the, the sounds the feelings of things you know don't it's kind of the stop and smell the roses kind of quote coming through for you guys because you might decide that actually I'm going to go this way to work and you might come across something incredible. It's kind of about being like that, okay? You then have by the book, so this is a really good um, card in terms of education for some of you, okay? If you are wanting to learn something more or something new, then this is definitely asking you to do that. This is a good card for um, kind of following the leader, not needing to make those big decisions, but allowing other people to um, and seeing where it leads you. I, I kind of feel like this is a big energy of taking a step back, to be honest with you, because your cards that came through, by the book card, by the way, is this card, by the way, I'm realizing it sounds a bit complicated, um, is really about being led somewhere. Like somewhere is someone or something is taking you somewhere even if it is just spiritually and it seems like it's opportunities in your current energy though taurus you do have the eight of swords and a five of wands so this could be mental conflict definitely with this combination or you know maybe you're feeling a little bit cornered because of the conflict that may be around you there's just a lot going on a lot of thoughts a lot of things maybe a lot of arguments around you you know a lot of disagreements the five of wands is an energy of conflict all right and chaos and the eight of swords is really being stuck Okay, so that's overall the energy for you guys. Again, taking some time out. Maybe you do need a break if this is happening in your workplace or if this is just happening in your mind, I would actually say that there might be a need for some healing and a break, vacation maybe, or just some time out um, so that you don't feel kind of claustrophobic because the energy is coming in with this. So if you are having a bit of conflict about your future, um, you will understand it, but we have to first silence the mind. So again, there is an energy of just going with the flow. And what that means is 
trying to be as present as you can and not not attach yourself to the external if there are arguments happening around you try your best to not get involved in it um, try your best to ask for some time to think about things if people are trying to rush you or press you like there's a lot going on like i feel like i just want to cover my ears go in a corner and just you know <laughs> i don't know just silence everything which by saying that we have the high priestess which is a card of silence and for a lot of you this is making a lot of sense that there is a need to reconnect your intuition and to your belief system it does feel like the answers are there in front of you or within you uh, but it's almost like there is a disconnect to that because of all of this chaos going on so i would really advise some meditation if you if you will uh, maybe some breath work that will help you connect back to your body if you're feeling all up in the mind um, there is a good app not to just promote but i do have a really lovely link down below uh, for a free trial for a meditation app that i use and i like to share some of the things sometimes that i listen to and meditate to it's very calming so i also have a video on it on my page if you want to see it first before you uh, download it but there is a free trial with my link and if you enjoy it you also get some percentage of 25 percent off your membership but anyway <laughs> Um, the high priestess is calling for you to connect to yourself so if you don't want to do that on the app you don't have to at all so you can really try to do that within yourself and there is a lot of lovely videos online on youtube also because seven of wands is that like you're trying to defend yourself from something i don't know if this is your own like intrusive thoughts or if it is other people at the moment i can't quite tell maybe it's just other people's words other people are trying to get involved like i really just get the sense that you need to be by yourself with that nine of pentacles this week okay you need to be by yourself maybe connecting to nature is so good for grounding by the way and it does feel like you need some grounding it feels like there's too much going on for you there is too much happening and it, it is kind of like i'm seeing you kind of levitating but like <laughs> i don't know like i'm just seeing it clarify this high priestess she has a lot of importance here two of wands if it's in terms of your future or the path ahead the next steps the two of wands is really good in the sense of you are outgrowing a situation or outgrowing a relationship, outgrowing something, maybe just this part of your life. Because uh, usually the two of wands, he's kind of built this tower up and now he's like, I've got everything here, but I want more. You know, he's, he's wanting to explore and experience and conquer everything outside of this place that he's in. So he's planning ahead. He's thinking about where he wants to go. So your advice here with the high priestess is to really connect with yourself, to actually see what it is that you want, not what everyone else wants or what life is throwing you into. It's about kind of stopping that, that cycle, pausing everything if you need to, and don't feel guilty about it. It's pausing everything and going, actually, what do I want moving forward? Because I think that maybe you have been lost in that, wind is kind of what I'm, i want to say that is the flow it's not necessarily the flow i kind of feel like it's the default you've just been running on you know tiredness you're just kind of closing your eyes and doing what you, you're no you know to do or that you're being told to do but it's not really what you're wanting deep down and i think the conflict that's arising within you is showing you that something's getting too much for you so this high priestess and two of wands is saying that the answers are within you already but it, you need to sit down with yourself in silence with the high priestess to really get to know those answers we have the page of cups there's something to do with your inner child coming through here some sensitivities to your emotions might come up okay um page of cups is just really listening to your inner voice your inner child all right maybe some of you are spending more time with your children you know or just there is an childlike energy coming through to do with emotions that needs attending to. Page of Swords. This is a very interesting energy because there is some triggers coming through with that. Clarify the Page of Swords. What's the trigger? Three of Cups. And Knight of Cups and the Four of Swords being there. So that's quite interesting. Three of Cups. So Page of Swords and the Page of Cups, again, well, the Page of Swords usually comes in as a bit of like a triggered energy, so just be aware of the people around you. They may not really... Some of you might be clashing because you have very different needs from the people around you, okay? And this is where people might not be listening or maybe you're not listening. I don't know who is who with this energy. It's kind of like, as you can see here, someone is offering something out of true emotion. And someone is turning away and just saying something, you know, I'm kind of feeling like 
not even addressing it, saying something rude without thinking and just turning away. So just be careful of people like that, all right? Could be your own self neglecting your own. That maybe for some of you, oh, that's quite interesting. For some of you, there's a part of you that's really wanting something, like an inner child part of you that wants something, dreams of something, is wanting to come out and play, meaning to be more imaginative, to be more like creative, and maybe you really want that deep down. But there's also a part of you as an inner child, maybe a inner teenager, don't know, but it's page of swords, so it's bringing in a childlike energy for some of you. That's shutting it down. And I wonder if there's something that you've conditioned yourself to do because you were shut down. And it's almost like you're doing that to yourself because someone once did that to you. So just pay attention to that. This is kind of what's coming through with this two of wands and a high priestess. We have the Knight of Cups and Three of Cups. For some of you, there is a fear of rejection coming in and this is what's stopping you from moving forward and stopping you from expanding and exploring because maybe it is to do with collaborating with other people, getting to know other people. Maybe that is a desire that you want deep down, but you shut yourself off before other people shut yourself off. Just be careful of that. You reject yourself before other people reject you. You don't give yourself an option. Knight of Cups, Three of Cups. When you approach people, I think you're going to be re re well received um, as long as you're coming through with this emotional balance. This Knight of Cups is not fearful of being vulnerable. So I do believe that you're working on your emotions. You're no longer being at conflict with yourself about what it is that you truly want. I think you're really connecting to your core. But again, it takes time uh, to do that. All right. To understand which voice is, you know, where it's coming from almost. You're really tackling some of those deep conditionings for a lot of you, okay? For Taurus, the initial G is coming through. For Taurus, please. And look what arises from it. Success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. So for a lot of you, you are opening yourself up, which is lovely. But you're doing that deep work. For Taurus, please. The color orange is very important. Um, and that is kind of the sacral chakra, okay? That's your desires. That's where your emotions are lying, okay? That might be blocked. Uh, which makes sense with everything that we were saying and then with that being said the rabbit came in too much concern with sexual matters some of you might be i don't know escaping with that or whatever don't know what that means uh but you do also have seahorse so there could be some family matters coming through uh with that and we also have bread period of prosperity and abundance so this is all coming through um rabbit too much concern with sexual matters i really wonder what that means I'll let you guys apply it as you wish, all right? But just be aware that you're, if you're struggling with feelings or um, you might need to unblock the sacral chakra, okay? And again, not to promote, because I rarely say it unless it comes up, but the app that I have a lovely link to down below, they do have chakra meditations, but you can also find them online too. All right, so I love you guys. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for being here with me. And I hope to see you guys in the next week's video.